turn, turn himself into more of an option on offense for you? He has. You know, he, he's had two really good offensive games and hit his free throws. Uh, uh, you know, with a lot of guys struggling offensively, um, you know, it was good that, that he gave us some some firepower there. Um, you know, we, we took some bad shots and, uh, you know, our shooting percentage first half, 56, and I thought our ball movement was pretty good. And then second half, uh, 36, and uh, a lot of tough, bad shots. Coach, what, what was your message? Yeah, he's. I mean, he just uh, he doesn't like hearing it. But he's just going too fast, and and he's he's making mistakes, you know. And uh, so he's just he's got to settle down. And uh, uh, you know, he's a much better player than that. Um, he's been through. He's got two years of experience. So uh, he's got to do a better job. Well, he did have a pretty big box score. He went five for six from the free throw line. He had five rebounds, five assists, no turnovers, three steals. That's pretty good. You know, uh, everybody looks at scoring, but he made a lot of good plays defensively and uh, really settled us down when we needed him to. Oh, no, uh, statistically, no. Um, you know, it's it's about the same either one. Well, we're, we're kind of grinding some things out and we're finding ways to win games, um, which absolutely important in November and December. But at, at some point in time, you got to get better, you know, and um, uh, it's obvious that we're not playing our best basketball or not anywhere close to it. So, uh, you know, I told the guys, you know, just go home, clear your heads, come back Christmas night and and we got to get back to work. But uh, we're a much better team than what we're showing. And that's that's the disappointing thing to me as a coach. And uh uh, but again, finding a way to win games, competing, having guys step up like Casey Benson did tonight and Jordan uh, and other guys finding ways to win. Uh, you know, Tyler didn't shoot the ball well. He had some good looks. Uh, Casey had three threes go all the way down and out. Um, you know, so on a night where some of our better offensive players didn't play well, we still found a way and, and uh, hit our throws in the second half. So. Uh, again, finding ways to win on nights you don't play particularly well is is really important. That's I like their athleticism. I like their team, you know. And uh, uh, if we didn't get up the floor defensively and they got the ball inside, they scored whenever they wanted, you know. And, and that created some problems the second half. What are some of those areas that you want to hone in on when these guys get back from break and focus on the ceiling? Well, there's a long list. Uh, I mean, uh, defensively, I thought our activity was pretty good the first half, second half. Uh, not so good when they go from 29 to 55 percent. Uh, we, you know, we our consistency uh, is something. We out rebounded them five in the second half. Got out rebounded the second half. Uh, so, you know, we we got a lot of areas. We got to keep developing some depth. Depth. I, I thought uh, Cavell and and Keith both gave us good minutes in the first half, but uh, second half not quite so good. So. Uh, consistency is going to be the big thing, and, and guys are just going to have to play better. What is your schedule? Are they going home for a couple days? Yeah, we're, we're coming back Christmas. We we had planned this. Uh, I guess if I knew we weren't playing so well, I might have them back earlier. But uh, uh, we, they need some time off. Uh, you know, we've been going pretty hard and and uh, grinding a little bit. So uh, we'll be, we'll be back Christmas night to practice and. Uh, practice then the 26th, 27th, and play the 28th. We got two undefeated teams uh, coming in, you know, on the 28th and 30th. So tough way to start the league with the two hottest teams, but uh, you know that's something we got to we got to get ready for really quick. You know, I've, I've just watched them some uh, on on TV when they've been on. Uh, you know, heck, I I enjoy watching UCLA. Uh, they're they're must watch TV. Uh, their ball movement is unbelievable, very good, uh, best I've seen in years. And so uh, UCLA is must see TV, and uh, USC's been finding a way to 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 grind them out and, and win games. And got a big win at Texas A&M early in the year, and so uh, they're playing with tremendous confidence as an undefeated team. So uh, real tough week uh, coming up here for us. 
pressing zone defense most of the game time. What was the thinking behind that? Just wanted to slow them up a little bit coming down the floor? You know, I just uh, felt like, um, you know, that it would give us an opportunity to maybe get some turnovers, which, you know, we had nine steals, which is a lot for us. You know, we, we haven't been getting many hands on balls. And, uh, you know, I just thought it, it gave us an opportunity to get some things set and get our zone set. So um, it just seemed to have a, a good defensive flow to it, especially that first half, you know. And um, so second half, not quite so good. You know, I don't know. Um, uh, we, we've had some good defensive team. Our Sweet 16 team, you know, was known for defense, and, uh, you know, we didn't shoot it very well. And, you know, last year our three percentage wasn't very good, and it's not very good this year. And uh, traditionally, you know, we've shot it okay. So, you know, I don't know. We got some good looks from three tonight. And like I said, Casey had three rattle in and out, and, uh, you know, we just we just didn't knock them down. But uh, I thought we had some really good looks. and. Uh, uh, you know, just didn't shoot it very well. Just so so, you know, we we didn't keep our composure. We didn't lower our base. You know, our guys were, uh, you know, we had some turnovers because of their physicality. Uh, I mentioned the boards, them catching up on the boards the second half. I thought that was physicality. So you know, so so, but they are a physical team. They got good athleticism and good good athletes that uh, have been in the NCAA tournament. They were there last year and, uh, you know, gave Utah a heck of a game. And, and uh, so we knew, we, we were fortunate. Taylor, you know, went 0 for 7. We, we, he was a point of emphasis. You know, we didn't want him to get going. 60% from three is phenomenal stat and, and hitting 35. So he came in averaging 3.3 threes a game and he got one good look out of the seven. I thought the other six were, were really guarded and guys did a good job there. Oh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I haven't, uh, I got to do a lot more work there to, to figure it out. Uh, you know, the, the thing, they're leading the country in field goal percentage at 56 and I think they're third in three point percentage. So we'll find out if we can guard or not. You know, I mean, that's unbelievable percentages. 56 from the field and 47, I think, from from three. So uh, both unbelievable stats. So we're going to have our work cut out for us defensively. I just don't know. You know, I uh, he's a tough kid, and uh, he's played through some ankle problems before. So I know he'll try, and uh, we've got him on a – uh, recovery program here. He is going to go back to Montreal for a couple of days, but uh, I know he'll do his stuff and he'll be try. He'll try to get ready. You know, he he wanted to go tonight. He was joking. You know, they, no way. But uh, you know, he'll try to get ready. Anybody else? All right. Have a great uh, holiday season.